Hello, everybody. Hopefully you can hear and see me shaking about out there. Earthquake happened in New Jersey. Welcome to the Earthquake Zone. Hi, Alex Navarro. Shaking it out, shaking it out, shaking it out. It's probably a testament to my California upbringing that my immediate instinct, which I stifled, was to jump up on my bed and start surfing as soon as I felt what was happening. <laughs> uh, Brad, I don't know if you felt anything by you. Nope. Okay. Nope. But uh, we, nope. we, had, we had ourselves a eight, little eight, earthquake. Seven or eight states away. I look, I hear people feeling yeah. it, uh, feeling it all around. It's yeah. a four, four point yeah. seven out here, which is that's, uh, yeah, that's big for strange. us. Yeah. That's, that's for us. For that's that's, that's very that's abnormal. Not, that's like pretty big generally. Like that's that's a jolt. That's a jolt. And my worry, my first thing was like, okay, somebody go check on Manhattan. Does it still exist? Then the second thing was, uh, oh god, go check on my basement. Does it still exist? Yeah, like the foundation. There's a reason why there aren't basements out in California, right? Like, uh, yeah. found, foundations don't like to. Uh, be jostled about. We are here uh, to play a game called uh, Dark Seed. Dark Seed. Okay. Dark Seed. Dark Seed. Dark Seed. So this Dark is a game. Uh, we're going a little bit side. earlier today too. If you if you missed this live, mm -hmm. we're going earlier uh, because yes. not not just because of earthquakes. No. Apologies, to some confused people on the Discord. Yes. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna start to the events. Okay. Discord events. There you I'm go. I'm going to click start events, and then it, then it will be official. Um, I love it when things are official. So I was going to try and do this maybe yesterday. Uh, then I decided to play some Warframe, which was a ton of fun. Uh, this is a mm -hmm. point and click adventure game. Was I think, it? yes, it was Warframe a was lot it? of fun. Was it, was it actually? I think, yeah, I might do mm. one of those like Warframe weeks, uh, like mm. I did with Final Fantasy because, Interesting. uh, I kind of, I kind of got into it. Um, right. I thought maybe you'd get into it too. So. I don't know. You might want to stay away. It seems like it is very mm -hmm. absorbing. Anyway, That's we're not good. here for that. I think I think Alex Patrick might have played this game. I don't know if you remember it. Um, and like one of his scooping with uh, spooking with scoops. Spooking with scoops. Yeah. Why are you uh, telling me? I don't uh, keep track of all his wheelings <laughs> and dealings. Well, because you are. I'm not Brad, Patrick Klepek's keeper. <laughs> you did the radio show with him. I don't know. I figured. Yeah, talk but to I wasn't him. on every stream with him. <laughs> we weren't like joined at the hip. And we weren't a Monzai team. And I, you like I, horror. Well, yes. Yeah. Sorry, well, Brad. Don't do not take this the wrong way. Can I have a little less Alex by any chance? No. No. Alex. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of hot Alex right now. Alex. Well, I can I can I can deheat myself a little bit if you would like. Uh let me know I how that goes. I don't think I can there. individually send you there. less Alex. Oh really? I, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I I can make yeah. less Alex happen. <laughs> that that but, sounds a little better. But I will probably then make it go back up. Anyway, this game might I've be had... kind of short. The reason I really want to play this is because I really want to play Dark Seed Two, and I think this okay. game is kind of short. Uh, Dark Seed Two know? is the one I really want to play, but we I feel like we have to get through Dark Seed One first. Yeah, so, of course. That's the rules. And read, did you read the novel? And I read the book, and uh, okay. I wrote some fan fiction. So did you read the? Did you read it in the original English? <laughs> no, no, I, I read a translation as is the way to go. So I've got DOS box here all, all mounted up. I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's type DS and start. So this is all the right. version of the game um, that has the voice. This is the CD version that has right. the vocals in it. Ways to amaze. <laughs> That's right. uh, I may have been Man, a little hot. Remember recently because Zeke has been down here and he's been nuzzling every knob mm. and thing that I have on my desk. So that may have oh, happened. He's a, he's a knob nuzzler, huh? Yep. Um, remember, remember when your game developer could be called Cyber Dreams? <laughs> Cyber a better time. Was a thing. Remember was that, that was a thing you could just do? All right. Listen to this sweet, soft MIDI. So this is a horror game. Um... Mm. I'm going to see if I can full screen it on my end as well, just so I can uh, that is, it. That is, that is some ad-lib ass FM synth. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh. What? Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. We're going to get these credits, oh, wow. hopefully. Whoa! If any bushes says, apparently there is a Famicom version of this game as well. I looked up a couple of different versions. And Weird. Hopefully this is the, the best version. Whoa. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's a Geiger. Uh-huh. I don't think I don't think the Famicom version has this guy. Whoa. Uh-huh. John Stossel, no. 
not how heads are supposed to work. That's... Mike Dawson. All right. Just work. Please work. Oh, this is where I got. I don't know why this is. Come on, please work. Look, if that's all there we get goes. today. There all right. Goes. There's always Warframe. I had to let. It sure was some nightmare. <laughs> yeah. It even left me with a monster headache. Why is Stan Lee the voice? <laughs> Greetings, true mind. believers. <laughs> a Geiger monster was inside <laughs> my brain. All right. I will my absolutely. My head feels like it's going to explode. <laughs> I'm glad we're playing this. All right. I'm so nightmares have given me a mean headache. <laughs> Look at this guy, this dirtbag. <laughs> it seems like I've had this headache. He's dressed like a stand up comedian from 1992. <laughs> Boy, my head hurts. <laughs> I mm -hmm. can't move. His head really hurts. Uh, Jordan in the Discord chat. So the designer of this game, Mike Dawson, made himself the main character of the game. He left the studio before two came around, but the studio kept the rights to the character, and he and the one character wow. name modeled after himself. Wow doesn't own his own character. Not in this. Uh, I... This it's one what it room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Uh, again, I'm here to get through this game. Alex, if you've got a guide up... Bathroom. Okay. Find the bathroom. Those wooden planks creak a lot. Was I in the bathroom before? I'm going to explore a little bit. This is my house. <laughs> there are many others like it. Bathroom. Bathroom. This is some kind of European bathroom with this like water heater up here, huh? There is apparently a time limit to this game, so, okay. you know. What do you do in the bathroom? Very cool. Uh, find pills. Oh my god. Is that... <laughs> Medicine cabinet, maybe? Is, is, that a, is that a shower or a refrigerator? I think it's a shower with the water tank there. Okay, am I feeling better now? Probably. Holding money. I save it. Oh, jeez. Wait, this isn't like literal geeker, is it? I, my, yes, it I, is. I think he worked. On I think it, it, oh, it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah, it totally is. Wow. Uh, oh, I just, I think I've seen the cover of this game. Now saving save dot save. Okay. Uh. Okay. Now what? Find an item in that second bedroom, not the one you started in. Okay. I don't want to tell you what it is. I just want okay. you to try and find Good. it. Good. This is the way we should do it. Yes. Uh. I wouldn't want to wear such a heavy old coat. Of course not. Mm. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And now so are my hands. Okay. Uh, you may need to use the examine icon on okay. the coat. There, you just right click to change the icon. <clears throat> yeah, I was yeah. gonna say no, no bar on this one, no icon bar. <laughs> Something be I, beeps. And I never, I never loved the right click cycle icons style. Oh. Door, doorbell's ringing. Wait, question, question mark. Should I go to the door? I don't know. The, the question mark thing, I think, might have been the investigate thing. It turned into an exclamation point when I was over it. Okay. There is something in that coat. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I got a small piece of paper. I'm out of here. I'm going to go get the I think that's what you needed. Do you have an inventory you can look and see what it is? Or? Uh, yes. All right. Yeah, I guess go to the doorbell. I did lower down the music a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. It was pretty serious. <laughs> it's pretty this intense. Do you mind, real quick, seeing, does this game have, like, an in-game volume slider? 
It had sounds, silent, or sounds. Yep, that's that two is options. consistent with the era. <laughs> Games were real bad about sound settings at this time. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that can't be significant. Can it? Guests come and go, but it's just me now. Uh, those are not creaks. Those are whoopee cushions. <laughs> What is that four arrows? Is that just like, a, is that go? I think that's go. Move out, out, out of scene type thing. My house seems somehow out of time. A relic of a dark past. Or perhaps... Oh, come on. It's just the house from Fight Club. <laughs> it's the newspaper. Crime by night! No, it's Crimby night. Crimby night! Crimby. You know, the voice acting is not as bad as it could be in this. No. Is this a package I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's good. No, it's just back so there the is door. more to do inside the house. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> the, the horror. That wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, listen to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, look, look, Geiger's got to work, okay? Giger? Giger uh, Geiger. This Giger, is actually, Giger. this is Geiger. Uh, Aliens I've, with I've Giger. Listened to a, yeah. I've, I've listened to enough alien commentaries to to say pretty confidently it's Giger. <laughs> but they got Geiger for this. <laughs> this is actually Geiger who mm -hmm. did the work on this. Gary Geiger. This is the Giver. <laughs> All right. I got a doll, Alex. Now what? Uh, go look for some blueprints. You got it. They're on the first floor somewhere. Okay. Oh, jeez, the phone, phone is right. ringing, dude. Is this a phone? I don't know what that is. All right, it doesn't look great. Loading. Leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose house are you in? His, I think. I'm gonna guess the phone maybe is in the other room. Let's go check it. I think the blueprints are on your desk, though, so that's where they are when you come back. That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. Sir, your your artwork. Where's your Where's your phone, dude? Where's your phone, dude? It's questionable. A masterpiece of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. Why do you have it? I, I kind of think he. I, <laughs> I think he kind of bought this house like with everything in it. Hmm. Apparently, the average completion time on this game is like ninety minutes. By the way, okay, okay, we can do it. I we can do it. Anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. <laughs> disinfected uh -huh. it. Alex, where's the goddamn phone? I have no idea. Maybe just miss, ignore the phone. Did I, miss then. The I phone? think you, probably. Can, can I not get the good ending? I don't we, know, man. We're probably, we're probably maybe talking rotary phone at this point. I would assume, yeah, maybe. on the wall somewhere. I thought the kitchen or, would happen. Or maybe on a table. Anyway, go find those plans. Did you guys ever see anybody back in the day who just had the phone like in the hallway? Yeah. Yeah, the phone was just like on, like on a table, table in the hall. Like you had to just like walk into the hallway and stand there to talk to somebody. All right, I got blueprints. Check them out. I'm trying. Oh my lord! Does it tell you where the phone is? Oh, secret passage is on the blueprints. Oh, um, interesting. Okay, it's in room five. Okay, which I think is down from here? I don't know. Is this game about gentrification? <laughs> this guy buying up, buying property yeah. in this neighborhood? This is about house yeah, flippers. Did I, did, did, I, did I miss? Did he inherit this house? Did he buy it? Did they I'm say? not 100% sure. Like there's got to be a story behind this. Um, have you been downstairs? No. Might be worth checking for the phone down there. Does the guide not say where the phone is? The guide does not mention the phone anywhere up top here. 
If you get too much dust on your hands, do you die? More dust on my hands. <laughs> okay. Find the plans in Mike's new home. They do show a secret passage in both the study and bedroom where Mike sleeps. Now oh. that you know there's a door here, you can use the hand to open it. Okay. It has a tendency to close behind you, so go back and open it. <laughs> okay, is this an adventure game where you can die? I mean, it has a time limit, so I assume yes. Oh, okay. And we never got the phone. All right, sorry, you said in the study? Uh, it is in the study in Mike's bedroom. Okay. Come on, Mike. I think Mike has a mullet. It's hard to tell with this. Uh... Yes, absolutely. Okay. Because I've seen some shots of Dark Seed 2 have been floating around in the chat, and I can okay. say confidently that that's a mullet. This is Blonde. the study. Blonde, um, Oats? That's Oats, right? That's John Oats, not... <laughs> yeah. Oats was, Oats was the one with the... The, the mullet. <laughs> and stash. Is dark and damp. That, that specific Open the door. mustache and mullet configuration. Should I be saving it, like, occasionally? I was going to save feel it. like it. If only to give everybody a little break from that, <laughs> that music yeah. as well. Look, man, MIDI. <laughs> this was top-of-the-line shit back then, all right? Save it. Okay, hold on. This is all we had, was MIDI. All right, Alex, what's next? Uh, let me see here. Uh, exit the path. Climb the ladder on the second floor, you'll find some rope. Take it. Okay. Okay, I can I can tell you confidently the Dark Seed games are not supported by Scum VM, sadly. <laughs> like one nice thing about Scum VM, they, they actually add extra audio controls to games that didn't have it. Mm. So they let you like level the voice and the music separately and stuff. Um uh, so exit the passage and but make sure it remains open. Okay. When you leave. Apparently it will cause you some problems. On the dark side. Oh, geez. Wait, Ooh. where's the passage here? I don't know. Hey, there's the phone. The phone. The phone. There it is. Here. Yeah, we know. We just came out of it, dude. Hello? Pick up the phone's phone. ringing. I can't think of anyone I want to call right now. <laughs> what is this All right. in the corner? <laughs> no, it's your that's, urn. That's his. That's his. What? We don't talk about that. You don't have a gothic uh, urn in your room? Looks like an old Persian <laughs> rug. Depending on how much time you've taken, the doorbell may be ringing. Okay, we did that. Okay. Yes. Um. The question here is surprised by the package? Uh huh. I don't think there was a package, was there? Yeah, there was a creepy doll. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Now head back upstairs and go straight to the attic. Done. I'm into the attic. Attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some Says of you. Windows need to have the glass replaced. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna touch these. Nothing in here. I'm gonna touch this. I think this is still better than my attic. No oh, use trying. It's really tight. It's really tight. Uh huh. Tight. And a, and a pair of skis. <laughs> it's not ski season. There's a watch. <laughs> Under the largest trunk. You can move the trunk using the hand icon. Hot damn. That's a box, I think, not a trunk, but we'll feel the ball and find the puncture marks left on the by the neighbor's dog. Oh, is there some kind of toy? Yeah, I think there was a toy under there. Jeez. Adventure games. Do I do it again? Oh wow, this is not a good This is video game. games. I picked up the watch. Okay. I Take the watch, the watch and wind it. I wound it again. How many times? Step out onto the again. balcony once you've done that. There's a balcony? Uh, oh, here maybe? Do I have to push this back? <laughs> 
Yeah, probably. Big Egg in the Twitch chat asking, would this have sounded better with a different sound card? Yes, absolutely. This was right in the era of extremely expensive sound cards yeah. that made your music sound better. Sound Blaster, yeah. baby. <laughs> if you have $400 to blow but the wooden railing looks as though it is on something with wavetable days. synthesis. Okay, I'm out on the railing. Uh, tie the rope you have to the gargoyle. Oh, sure. That's what the thing I would do. I mean, in a game like this, yes. Let's find out why first. Press a gargoyle. One of those mythical... I think it's because it gives you easy access to this balcony if you want to climb up there. Love it. I've done it. Okay. Climb down the rope. <laughs> okay. Why? Why is he doing this? This is just home improvement, man. This is how you do it. <laughs> put, the, put this place through its paces. Yeah. You never repel down know. the side of your house? <laughs> I had a door. All right, I'm out the back. The lawn doesn't need mowing? <laughs> at least. Uh, go in the garage, I guess. You got it. Uh, at least the music's changed. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. Kind of nice car, though. We're in the Batman universe? Yeah, root around in the car for a bit. Okay. See where you can uh, open stuff. Pixel hunt. I'm gonna huff some fuel out of it. There you go. The gas tank cover is missing. Shit. Now this baby could be a collector's item if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. Uh, I do have all that uh, wavetable stuff from uh, when we played Star Trek set up. I just didn't use it with this. That'd be fun to mess with, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's... I don't know, I mean, cool. assuming this game even supports it. Yeah. Uh, all fails, check the trunk. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. Hell yeah. All right. The battery still works. Hooray. I got some gloves. Sure. Don't have a key. You're going to run oh, down the battery. Is this, this is the CD version, right? Yeah. Apparently, this is bizarre. I'm finding a bunch of people complaining. Apparently, the floppy version has better MIDI than the CD version. But the CD version has voice. Right, the CD version has voice, but apparently they shipped, like, worse MIDI files with it for some insane reason. I watched a huh. video comparing all the versions, and really, what I really wanted was, was the voice. Oh, yeah, um, sure. The other thing that I thought was funny was the CD version is 36 megs. Nice. <laughs> You know, nice, nice. Uh -huh. What a that time to be been, alive. Gosh, that would have been, I don't know, 12, 14 floppies, something like that. Yeah. Trunk's open, dude. Thank you, Donnie. Trunk's closed. I opened the trunk. Can you look in the trunk? There's a crowbar in the trunk. There's a crowbar in the trunk. There's a crowbar in the trunk. I got the crowbar. Congratulations on getting the crowbar. Thanks. Uh, should I leave this garage? Yeah. Okay. Head around to the front of the house. I, my math was terrible. That would have been 25 floppies. That's a lot of floppies. Yeah. How about, imagine copying all those floppies? How about, um, how about dual density, high dense, high double density, that was, over floppies, back and forth, you know, high, other that was, side? That was high density. Was high it, density? I think high was 1.44, right? 1.44 You may. just need to get to the front of the house. Try this. Um, I wonder. I wonder if this whole game is set just in the house. <laughs> ah, you should probably go to the dark side. Loading. <laughs> this guy. This guy. You grabbed the paper that was out here, right? I did. Yeah, Crimby. All right. Uh, okay. let's see here. Go to the attic. Oh boy, can I climb my rope? I guess I'll just go back inside. At least his head doesn't hurt anymore. For now. Yeah, we took those pills. Well, you might have to take them again, is the thing. Oh, no! 
can't well, can't imagine why this guy has a headache with this fucking song playing in his house all day. <laughs> Back to the attic. Listen, I have very creaky floors. They don't sound like that. Okay, I'm back in the attic, Alex. I uh, used the crowbar on that big dumb uh, crate. Oh, you got it. What else would you use a crowbar for? But it says fragile on it. Oh, maybe try the other one then? I don't know. One of them holding the, needs crowbar. the crowbar. Are you holding it? If you put the crowbar in the trunk, you'll never forget it. Uh, you'll forget it. Okay. Maybe. Are you trying the other box? Steamer trunk. Yeah, it's, it's empty. Yeah, I'll try and open this thing. I mean, that's the steamer box, not the trunk, right? So, makes I sense. guess. Oh, yeah, here he goes. Ah. So we assume that this was digitized, right? This this person looks did like all these things. It looks like it. I closed the trunk. Like that, a close up of the intro definitely looked digitized, so probably. Uh, Dark Sea 2 absolutely is. is that's, nice, so. Yeah, that's the stuff I want. All right, the trunk is open, Alex. Do I look in the trunk? There's an old diary inside this trunk. Uh oh. Ooh. Things are heating up. I took the journal. All right, you're going to leave the house after this, but by all means, check. Let's we'll see what we got here. Oh, terrible headaches after moving in. Uh huh. On the other side, but I grew fearful that I moved to the mirror in the garage for the fear that something would come through that attack me. Who are these ancients? Well, you know, there's Aerith and a couple are of Are we sure this isn't a gas leak? <laughs> it is an old house. Maybe they had earthquakes. Please. Uh, uh, sorry. All right. Do I take the rope, Alex, or just get nah, out of just, here? Whatever you want to get out of here, feel free to get out of here. It's quickest. the quickest way out of this place. Probably the rope. I've already read this paper. Oh, well, pardon me. I have to use it? I can't remember. Yeah. We. <laughs> That's how I get out of my house. Uh, head back to the front and then hang right out of here, I think. Okay. I'm going to save it again just because. When all this fails, yeah. I, I don't want to have to do that again. Save. What, you weren't having fun? I I am having fun, but uh, I'll tell you, that audio is rough. That it's music, something. That music. But this is pleasant. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. It's beautiful. Look at these trees. One of the greatest inventions in adventure games was double clicking to just go to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Just keep walking. I mean, you gotta go into the town, I think. <laughs> He's trying. He's a little drunk today. This town looks unnaturally quiet. Hell of a police go station to this town. You go You've to got clubs? two places to go. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> no, I'm saying there's two two places in town right. you need to go. Uh, the, the grocery store and the library. Oh, okay. Let's go to the Clug Food Market. Clug. I can't go in there without showering first. What? What? Of course. What, what, mm, what, <laughs> what kind of establishment is Clugs? <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't standards. remember seeing anything about that. <laughs> do I know this. Do I have to go back to the house? I just pop in the police. Oh, station. yeah, you I'm needed to shower, shower apparently <laughs> during the bathroom bit. You needed Dude, to shower. Jesus says that about everything. Yep. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right. That's fucking ridiculous. Look. Adventure games. Cos I missed that sentence. I'm sorry. Cosmic horror aside, we got to shower. <laughs> Mike's got to shower. Apparently. Okay? I that, apologize. No, I missed that, apparently. That is definitely some pick up the fork bullshit. Uh, then we go shower. That thing it made no mention of at all up until the moment you tried to go anywhere. He's got all this dust on his hands, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Can't go in without showering. Like, I feel the same way. I need to take a shower in the morning, okay? He's already fully dressed. 
<laughs> Not for long, Alex. You know, if this were a first-person game, I have to say one of the first things I would have tried was turning on the shower and flushing the toilet. Ooh. Yeah. You sure you don't want to take a bath? Okay, shower then. He's just going to get right in there in his clothes? <laughs> yep. Yes. Is he brushing in there or is he... Oh, he's putting stuff in his hair. I like how they got a, you know, they got a model for that. You that wasn't really up. Do I, I can't go out and dry my hands. They'll think I I peed my hands. Jazz Jammer Which points I did. out, where's the toilet in there? He's the going toilet in that bathroom. He's just going in the shower. At some point, those stairs are going to break, right? <laughs> that's, that's why you have the rope. All right. The question on. is, is it a break that just, like, kills the path, or is it a break that kills you? No way to find out what to do. <laughs> Clug really likes everybody clean. I hope Clug is standing at the doorway with a sniff test for you. <laughs> you stink out of my store! It stinks. <laughs> it smells like man sweat. Can I get some dicky strife? Is that general store Jesus with a little bit of clug. For day -to -day existence. <laughs> Are you okay, Clug? It's fucking Amol from Dragnet. <laughs> clug. An Amol. Ever forward. <laughs> the hand the hand has nothing to do with the clerk. What does that mean? What? <laughs> I think because I'm <laughs> I'm touching it with the hand. Using the hand on the clerk doesn't make any sense. It must be your headaches. Must the, be. The hand will do nothing Try to the clerk. Try a different icon, maybe. The hand doesn't have any effect on the clerk. Okay. I'm just imagining you're doing this <laughs> to him, like, over and over again. <laughs> you see the clerk? Okay. Well, should we just get some stuff then? Uh, let me see what you're supposed to do here. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but... Oh. You'll have to pay for that. I have oh money. Oh God, you, <laughs> Mr. Dawson, I was sure would be swell if you gave me a little bit of scene, a little bit of money for the for the products and goods and services. <laughs> I mean, you do smell fresh and everything, but uh, boss says I do have to charge it. All right, here is money. Uh, get a bottle of scotch. I assume that's it. Using the money on the scotch doesn't make any sense. It must be your headaches. Can you just take the bottle of scotch? I tried. Or give the guy the money? Yeah, maybe give it the money. Using the money, okay. I gave him Serve money. Yourself, Mr. <laughs> that's how you that's how That's how grocery works. stores yeah. work. Here, you take the money. I'm just gonna kinda guesstimate what I, <laughs> what this stuff would cost. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy. Delbert's gonna be mad. Oh, boy. Golly, Sarge! Oh, shit. Is this Delbert? Oh, God, Delbert's here. Hi, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, <laughs> Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, I Delbert's just gonna huh? drink all your scotch. I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? I am not <laughs> going to fucking acquire the legal services of a man wearing fucking parachute pants. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, we've met Delbert. Uh-huh. Look at Delbert's card. <laughs> Boo! Delbert Hostom Hostomsky. 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 Attorney at law. Law. Lore. 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 <laughs> I'm a lore attorney, and this lore is bad. All right, you're done here with this place. Great. Uh, go to the library. All right, let's go find the library. Okay, the bar not the barber. No. Barber has nothing for you. Hopefully we yes. come back to the barber. An old library. A venerable okay. repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. Oh, he must be a writer. I'm in the library. Not a good one. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. 
Tell me about more about your fucking <laughs> leather-bound books, dude. She's not even looking. Look at her. She's Ron good. Burgundy ass motherfucker. <laughs> I have a lot of books. All right. Can we talk? That would. Be uh, yeah, you can talk to her. The sort of thing your former coworker Larry would have tried to do. Oh, touch. Okay, because I touched. She's an extreme. Are you saying wow. Larry's a prevert? <laughs> she doesn't seem to notice me staring at her. Okay. Uh, is there anything on the ground in front of her? This is a real pixel hunt Jeez. kind of bullshit. Is it this yeah, thing here? I think it might be. I picked up a bobby pin. Of what? course you did. Come on, man. That is some. That's, uh, that's some shit. Even by early '90s adventure game standards. Now give her that card you found in the coat. The lump. The paper. Did we ever look at it? Lord of the Rings. J.R.R. Tolkien. These are due dates. Oh. Okay. Alex mentioned before we started that that walkthrough has Lord of the Rings quotes in it. Maybe that's oh. why. Somebody loves Lord of the Rings. Huh. Okay. Uh, there's supposed to be a library card that you got. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Lord of the Rings was not out in 1933. I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't have a library card, Alex. That's what you were supposed to... F yeah, you, there it is. Oh, holding that's... It. Oh, okay. It's not the library. I think it's the, like, notice for the book. Yeah. This card really should ah! be kept with the book. <laughs> You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. That's not what the pixel art maybe looked like. But we'll just move on. Wait, you would have been glasses? better <laughs> not. <laughs> you yeah. would have been better not animating that face. <laughs> All right, this card really should be kept with the book. You'll find that one in aisle C, green cover. Here we go. That was a real nightmare. <laughs> I don't like it. That's the horror. <laughs> that was more horror. Giger esque than anything else I've seen in this game. <laughs> All right, aisle C, green cover. I assume this is aisle C. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. Okay, this is the most fucking contrived, bad EGA graphics thing because you would just be able to read the name of the book on the spine of the book. You wouldn't have to Presumably, pick out Lord, yes. Lord of the Rings by the color of the spine. But we can't. How else would you know? Answer. How else would you know? All right, I'm gonna need your help. Is this the green one? That is a green book. Yeah, there's, there's like five, four oh. or five green ones. All right, that one. See. There are a lot of musty old books which are all out of date. That's red. It might be the top left. That kind of looks like Lord of the Rings. If oh. you go, keep going to the right slowly. From there, a little bit farther, like four more books. One, two, three. That one. There. I did get a question one, mark. One you just passed. That scroll on there kind of looks like it says Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Are we even sure we're in aisle C? I, I it could, be. could be meaningless, but uh, this one you think, Brad? That's the one. That, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Well, look, are we talking Lord of the Rings? Like uh, uh, the first All right, hang on. Is that even what? You, is that even I what you're looking for? Anything of interest? Yes, it is what I'm looking for. Okay. Click on the green book to receive an important message. Uh, all right, go to aisle C. That's all it says. Is this? Wait, we don't know that this is ILC, though? I mean, I thought I, I thought it was. ILC. Let me try and get out of here. Uh, there's two more. I mean, there's like two more green books. I don't think you've tried. It, th I went here. I assume that yeah, was that, ILC. That should be. Uh, you could try the other side of that shelf. Did you try all the green books here? No. This is green? Go up. Go straight no, up it's green and something. That, that one is. Mm. This is green? Um, that two, one in the dead oh, center. Two, two over to the left. Two, that yeah, one. That one. Also green. Mm -hmm. That one is, and then that big one. Yeah, I think you've tried them all here. All right, try the other aisle. Okay. Yeah, maybe just go around the other side of it. At least this one well is like pleasant yeah. ish. Yeah. Probably, Probably that big one in the middle, here. I think. This one? This yeah, that no, one. No, one. Yeah, I want here. Okay. There it is. There it is. That's kind of ILD. You pick up the book and pull out the piece of paper. 
Read the piece of paper. I know that I am doomed, so I will hide the pieces of this journal for someone to find later and hopefully solve the mystery which has baffled me. In the midst of Is my this certain just Twin dread Peaks? that something terrible is happening to me, I had a light moment. I had a light moment the other night when old man Tuttle grabbed the key to my clock and swallowed it. What a joker! Imagine how shook I was to learn that the old guy had a stroke only a week later. It has occurred to me that I may need to achieve the key to service the clock. Okay. I can get it if I have the guts or his guts. Mm -hmm. Pressing left above right will get me in. Another thing on my mind is the whole thing. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go gut this guy. You think he's in the, in the morgue? Or you think he's buried? Go home. <laughs> Go home and go to the clock case. <laughs> go home, Mike. <laughs> yeah, just go home. You're drunk. <laughs> what a joker. Can we tell her can we tell her we did the thing? You can if you want. I don't want to look at her again. She's an extremely beautiful woman. Extremely. I don't know if you know this. That's the get a jail free card. Oh, we, we lost our item that makes her talk. Okay, we're leaving. Uh, what a joker. Go home? Yeah, go home and go find that clock case. I think I remember the hurry structure. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't even loading. Okay. Oh no, the barber shop's closed. We missed our opportunity. It's okay. We're not going there today. Mike could have gotten Six, a uh, six dollar haircut. A haircut. Oh, Clugs Market is closed too. Man, it must be late. It has yeah, become late in the is? day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they have like a watch, or maybe this is a sleepy eyeball here. I don't know. You did wind that clock. I did wind. I watched. Watch. Yeah. This screen feels unnecessary. <laughs> Look, man, it's a 90 minute game. They gotta, <laughs> they gotta fill it out somehow. The speed run is apparently 20 minutes. Oh, great. Uh, back inside and find the clock. Oh, no. Yeah. I thought the clock was here. No, I think it's in the living room. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I assume he's going to say I need the key. This grandfather clock reverberates an ancient, endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside. So look for that nameplate. What it says. Like looking at it again? Yeah. Hmm. The clock casing is locked for some reason. If you can find the nameplate. On the clock? Yeah. I think this is the last thing you have to do here, but you will have to wait for a phone call and you will have to answer it when it comes. Um, I don't know how to look inside. That might be all you can do is just look at the nameplate. There's a there's a name on it, apparently. Okay. Appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. You have to like wipe it with something? Go home and open the clock case. Can't on the key. Do I have to go to the police station? Go home the clock case. Oh shit, it's seven o'clock. It just says look about the place until the librarian calls. Um Okay. It doesn't say anything about. Is there a, do, like was there anything in that hint that said anything about opening the clock? Yeah, it said the key was inside the guy who uh, swallowed it and then he died. But there was oh, also something at the end about going up and then down or something. Oh right, right and left or something. Let's see if I can fuck with the hands on the clock. Do we know what the stakes are if the time gets too late? 
I don't know. I can't turn back time. He doesn't want to turn back time. I'm not share. <laughs> if he could find a way. <laughs> Pop casing is locked. Sorry, let me back up a little bit. Left above right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Can we look at the paper again? Do we have that note still? Yeah. It has Pressing occurred left. to me that I may need to retrieve the key to service the clock. I can get it if I have the guts. Pressing left above right will get me in. Okay. Do I have to go to the police station? I think he's in the no. morgue? That's not what it says about going to the police station. It does not say anything about going to the police station. Left above right. Can I push any of these? It's more dust on my hand. Maybe just try the three paintings in order. Left above right. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Are th these well, no, it's, it's a... the, I was thinking it would be those three that are next to it, like left above right. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but let's try. Do you like operate them though? Left. This one I don't think is giving me a hand. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it kind of. Uh, uh, above. Right. Oh. All right. Couch cushions. A film of dust covers the couch. Okay. Uh, there's the mirror. You said the phone should ring at some point? Yeah, but it might not do it until you find a way to open this clock. What if I use the bobby pin? Can I, like... I don't know. That sounds like some adventure game stuff. Uh, won't do nothing. Won't do anything on the clock. All right. I'm gonna... I don't know. I'm just going off what the... Literally the one walkthrough for this game <laughs> seems to have. So... How do we open the damn clock? Uh, I feel like I need the key. I'm gonna go to the police station. Again, there's nothing in here about the police station, but you're welcome to try. I'm gonna try it. Oh, somebody in the chat says crowbar. That's a good idea, but I think I lost the crowbar on that that thing. Let's see. I don't think. We, oh, we still have it. Let's see. Go home and open the clock case to find the the nameplate. Still have plenty of time left for snooping. Again, there's nothing in here about going to the police station hmm. or the crypt or anything other people are saying in chat. Hmm. I'm not saying I disbelieve you. Uh. Uh. May I have to take another shower? See if I can rip the key out of some the old man who died. It seems like the next thing you do after the library. If so, this guide writer has uh, absolutely lapsed in their duty. This place is closed. Oh damn! Looks like everybody knocks. Is there? Uh, There's no cops after six in this town, apparently. <laughs> is there a? Uh... A cemetery that I can go to? Not that we've seen. I'm gonna go walk past the library. God damn it. There is no past the library. Um, where would the dead guy be? Even this music starting to annoy me. I don't think you have to go find the dead guy. Uh, what's over? Oh, what's this? Damn it! That's the town. Hold on. Gonna left. 
Uh, Alex, somebody in the Discord linked another guide if you want to take a look at it. Maybe the person who has made this guide is uh, the guide you're using is bad at guides. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the other side of the house. Go, go. Wait, did you find a clock key at some point? Wait, I thought that's Count. what we're still looking for. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think we're. Uh, I think it's inside the dude. Right. I'm gonna walk this way. I'm not gonna delay. I'm gonna use my adventure game instincts, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna turn off my targeting computer. There is some kind of mausoleum thing, but it's gonna, I'm gonna play the game. You have like, to go to the other side of the house. Apparently, it's on the left side of the house. Like when oh, yeah. you go the other cemetery, overgrown. With That's so ah. weird that this guy mentioned none of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't trust the internet, this folks. Like no one is right, around. right it's above left. Long time. Game FAQs, you are failing in your duty. Oh, Jesus. Horns! These horns! There's no name on this stone. Left above right. Harcourt Fenton Mud. He was no triple at all. JTK. Uh, James Tiberius. That was a Kirk? Star Trek reference. Yeah. Oh. Days. Oh, right, of course. Mud, yes. I thought that sounds familiar. Apparently, he's buried here, too. S. Nostromo. Rest in peace. No, we get it. You love sci fi. <laughs> John <laughs> Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Left. Above right? Now, well, let's just start pushing the tombstone. That's right. He's dead! Don't disturb the dead. It's, would, would he have heard that? I don't know. She's far beyond anyone. All right, go through the gates. Follow the path to the next screen. Not, it's not these guard, uh, these graves. I think there's another one. Oh, geez, really? We're looking for a mausoleum, I think. <laughs> Things are escalating with this music. Sorry. I uh, maybe here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tuttle. These are Go through the doorway. Covering this Press the three buttons around the arch and go through the doorway. Location. Left, above, right? Above, yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Who the fuck gets a mausoleum like this? I would. Nick Cage. Feels like a cold dragon. No, this is a pyramid. <laughs> or is it just my nerves? It's kind of a mausoleum. Go to the next doorway. Click on the lower left urn on the shelves to find the clock key. They fucking put it with his ashes. Urns. When they were. Oh my gosh. Lower left is all it says. John Tuttle's beloved Siamese twin. That's not the preferred terminology anymore. <laughs> Joined, I believe. Butcher. Was it Joe? What was his name? Ah, who cares? Just going in. John, I think. Would a key, would a would a key melt in cremation? Yeah, I, I don't know. This whole thing. So we just walk up these steps. Adventure game, yeah, whatever. Logic. Wait, did I take the key? I should double check. place to meditate. Yeah. Okay. We got not the clock key. That is that is not what this place is. It is not a peaceful place to meditate. You got the key. Got the key. I'm gonna head back to oh, the clock that's tower. Progress. To the clock. People talk about that earthquake. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Felt it. It happened. We felt it. How? Here, how? Again. how how stiff was it for you guys? Ah, it was noticeable. Yeah, I definitely was like, thought it was a truck at first because you don't expect earthquakes and then realized it wasn't a truck. I was actually on the phone with Bacalar talking to him and then I was like, dude, 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 dude. <laughs> He's like, what? He was out walking his dog. 
I was like, I think we just had an earthquake. Oh, it's getting dark over here. And he's like, guys- I, I didn't feel it. And then all his neighbors came out and was like, uh, what's happening? Are you guys familiar with Tewksbury, New Jersey? I've heard of it. I'm aware of the town. That's apparently r- roughly where the epicenter was. Okay. I had heard yeah, that's Le- not, uh, Lebanon. It's not right around here. Yeah. They felt it as far as Connecticut. I know that. Yeah, 4.7 is pretty good. Yeah. No, that's oh, like nothing. a stiff drink. Oh, good lord. Wow. I mean, that's what the they're telling great people. One in, in, in Twitch chat says they felt it in Maryland. I feel sleepy. I think I will go to bed now. No, don't go to no! bed now! No! 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 No, you're going to die! Stop going to bed now! Uh, are we at the end of the game? No? He, I can't stop him! Take more pills! But we That's didn't me. get the clock yeah. open, and the librarian didn't shoes. call. Shoes. Shoes in the bed. Or sports go- hey, hey, look at this guy. Hey. I'm uh, Keith Hernandez. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I'm Keith that Hernandez. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like... <laughs> it's like a Reddit meme or something. I don't know. This is a very weird... <laughs> It's a very weird game. Somewhere it says like Giga Chad or something, or something under the Reddit illustration. So wait, we're not dead. We're still alive. I think so. You should go get your pills and then maybe go open your clock before you go do anything else. <laughs> Twitch chat says Geiger Chad. <laughs> okay. All right. That's definitely a uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm here for it. Geiger Chad's good. That's good. All right. Let's open the clock. No, 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 you need your pills, your headache, remember? Oh, yeah, he's got a bad headache. And I have to shower. He can't do anything until he showers. La, da, 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 da. Okay. My head feels like it's going to explode. Uh-huh. I, Chad had some suggestions about what may happen with the head at some point. If, if I don't take my pills? Well, either or. <laughs> I mean, we did get, like, a little man put inside our head. I won't give too much away. It sounds exciting, though. Okay. I've showered. I have pilled. I'm gonna go clock. open this clock. Okay. And we just need this to read the plaque, right? Mm-hmm. And then a librarian should call. Dedicated to John McKeegan for 25 years of lo- loyal service. That's pretty cool. You got a clock? Yeah, that's a... They don't do that anymore. It's a pretty serious gift. Look, nobody keeps anybody around for 25 years anymore, either. All right. I'd take it when they clock. I'd take 25 years of employment. Where should we go now? Yeah, I don't know if that uh, that librarian call is going to happen now, but... uh... (laughs) I better eat anything coming... I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen. Uh, if you haven't heard the ethereal voice yet, then go to the garage and listen to the radio. Okay. Have you heard the ethereal voice? Yeah, well, yeah what is that? I mean, <laughs> I like the idea that you might just hear it or you might not. There, there was a... Um, there was I should a, stop looking at that other walkthrough and look at the one they sent me. <laughs> there was a do not, um, do not disturb the dead voice. Wait until 10 a.m. when the doorbell rings, open the door, receive a package. I'm going to check the clock. Wait, I have a timing package. element of this. You have a watch. I, and I have a watch. You're absolutely right. Hold on. Ugh. 
It's nine. All right, 41. it's almost ten. Let's oh, see how fa let's see how fast time moves in this game. It's nine forty-two. It's nine. <laughs> All right. It's like every five seconds or so. Five to ten. Five to ten. Maybe ten. Yeah. Eight. All right. Really making good use of the time. Thank you. This mirror is cold to the touch. A grim reminder of its unyielding quest for my true image. It's, it's a what? Mirror, it's a mirror, dude. It's a fucking mirror, it's dude. A mirror, dude. Calm down. Are Settle down, get... Beavis. <laughs> another, uh... Another doll? I don't know, but there will be a package at 10 a.m., I'm told. Oh shit, I hit the diary again. I wonder if time just moves all the like time comes for all of them. 956. This is a very important package. You don't want to miss this. Okay. I already keep saying package. <laughs> <laughs> package. Yeah, yeah. Oh! It's 10 o'clock. Bing bong. Oh shit! Package for you. Bert picked up this broken shard from your mirror and forgot to leave it for you. Sorry about that. Acme Movers. Here's your broken glass, loser. Uh, okay. I've mirror got a shard. Should I go hear the ethereal voice? No. Okay. Should I go put the shard of mirror in the mirror? That would be my guess. That's what I would do. Look at this. What could go wrong? What could go right? I'm holding the shard. It, it takes two to make it out of sight? <gasps> there you go. Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, that's like a... Not a mirror anymore. This mirror reached Step into a it. haunting image of me. Oh, let's see that. Let's see that image. This mirror is cold to the touch. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. Sure. Very Persona esque. We've crossed over. Hi, this is the library. <laughs> to, uh, we're just calling to let you know you An shouldn't go. An unnatural glow Whoa. emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Sacks. Uh, head through the right doorway whenever you're ready. The horrible shape twists and writhes as it hangs from its biomechanical umbilicus. 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 Just say it a few more times. Okay. They look like penises. Yeah, a little bit. Man really loved him some weird veiny dick aliens, didn't he? Look at the upper right. Look at that frame around the screen. Look at that thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, skulls. Check out my skull collection. Cool. Oh, there's these skulls are talking. You know what? We haven't uh, done a save in a while. Let's uh, maybe save in a new slot. Hi, right. madam. I'd uh, like to save, please. They don't let you put numbers in the save. So you went into the right room? I did. And then, all right, just keep going left. I'm going to touch this face. This is not a good place to practice my phrenology. No. Or anywhere, really, ever. This wall of skulls seems to be almost <laughs> alive. <laughs> this wall of skulls. <laughs> All right, sorry, Alex, you said? Yeah, just keep going left. Okay, continue to the left. This guy is weirdly incurious about the thing he has just walked into. <laughs> yes, this wall of skulls is not what I'd do with some skulls. All right, cool room. Okay. I'm going to look around. I'm going to touch stuff. You attempt to pick up the plans only to find that they are holographic projection. Mike! These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. Oh, jeez. Oh! Vox draws. There's a skull draws. inside your skull, bro. Yeah, something's growing inside your head. I, you know, there is a brain in there at some point, right? All yeah, right. Maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore. Uh, all yeah, right. I've looked. So I keep going. Step to the into right? the. Tr uh, go through the right doorway. You got it, Cohen. 
you'll find a transporter. There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. Take it. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. Not the music in your house, though. All right, we're going to go inside this thing. There really is just something profoundly Stanley about this guy's delivery. Whee! I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. <laughs> that machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. We know. Now we, we know. get it. We know. All right, going to the left. Uh, yes. You'll find an item in here. <laughs> I don't know. You don't say. Yeah, what, I don't know. If, I don't know if you're gonna be able to find it, but if you can, <laughs> there is an object that you need to pick up. Where is There's it? I don't know. I just, you gotta look. Has anyone been here before me? <laughs> All right. And uh, you know, I don't know. Here. Observe your uh, alien landscape here. Okay. What do we see? You see the alien landscape. It looks like concept art. <laughs> Close up. I almost tried to move the mouse to see if it would move, and that's way above the yeah the technical time and price range of this. This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. Jesus, Mike. You're in a fucking alien world. G get a grip, man. I can't reach the mountains. All right. Should I go through this door? I can't do shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, back to the transporter. Oh, yeah? All oh, right. wait, hang on. Hang on. Use your gloves to pull the lever between the two doorways. Oh, Jesus. This thing? Yeah, also, do you have gloves on? I, no, not yet, but I'm going to look at There's it. There's a strange lever projecting from the side of the edifice. All it's right. almost cock-like. <laughs> I am going to save it, and I do want to see what happens. We haven't died yet, so I am curious if... Like, if you don't use the gloves, is it is it death time? Saved. We watched, I was playing Warframe yesterday. There was a Warframe 1999 trailer. Mm -hmm. um, and... I honestly thought it was a proto Warframe trailer from 1999, and I'm a big idiot. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Big idiot. Nine Inch Nails in it, though, and that really sold me on, is this supposed to be from 1999? Oh, I put the gloves on. A strange humming sound echoes from within, but nothing appears to happen. Did okay. you touch the lever? I did. Oh, that's what happens. What the fuck? That's what happens when you touch it without your gloves. What? <laughs> what? Cyber dreams. Wait, what? I don't think you had the gloves on when you touched it. No, not that time. I mean, I touched it once without the gloves. But what? You died. Yeah. They put you in the in the little fucking no gloves cube. <laughs> Oh, I missed a death. Oh, yeah, you missed the death, all right. You, you missed like something. A, it was like a scene. Hold on, I gotta get back mm. to load it. They basically put me in like a little capsule. All right. Hold on, I'm gonna load as soon as we can. Is it, sure is it full on nightmare. reload to save when you die? It even left me with a no, it points. took me back to the beginning of the game. Oh, wow. Yeah. No checkpoints then. New. Load. Saved. I saved it right before we died. At least I hope I did. Loading. Okay. All right. Using the gloves. I've used the gloves, Alec. Good. Nothing appeared to happen. You didn't pull the lever? I did. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You well, you pulled the lever. That's fine. The left? Uh, yeah, go in back into the um, uh, transporter room. I don't think I would have ever seen that lever. Head through All the right. left doorway and down into the, in the transporter again. Okay. Whee! Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Done. Now... Left to the study, then left to the lobby, and out through the round door. This is the study? <laughs> yes, that's what they're calling this. Okay. That's a desk. 
There was a holographic uh, image of some plants, and then, and this then left through the round door. It up. Uh, this door, this little thing yeah. here with the eyeball on. Yeah, that one. This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. Oh, N not me. <laughs> no, you're not getting those vibes. I no. think I think my market value could go up. This definitely looks like my house. All right, this door. Go left twice. Oh, man. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. Man, you should have talked to somebody. Try therapy. <laughs> Look at this thing! Mm-hmm. Why would you build this? Oh my god. Why wouldn't you build this? Go in there. However, nothing ventured. Yeah, Man. go in the cave. This guy is he's brave. Oh my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However. There's an object I need in here. Hospital waiting room. Gee, can you find it? Perhaps it would be safer to return. Gee, home. Uh, this looks like a like a weird truck with eyeballs. Should I pick up? Can this you find shovel? the object, Vinny? I, I'm having trouble. Sometimes it's like a weird. It's like, oh no, it's this dot right here, and sometimes it's a damn shovel just on the floor. All right, I'm gonna pick it up and not worry about this thing. Nothing else. Like <laughs> now you're done here. Uh, go right. back through the mirror if you can find your way there. Sure. You needed that alien shovel. Yeah. Is it just? Is it alien? Is a shovel. You see a shovel. Think of it like you just took a trip to Alien Home Depot. Yeah, picked up a shovel for free. I stole a shovel. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're okay. going home. Going home. Back in here. Back and then to the right. Back and to the right. Back into the right. Okay, right, Penisville, and then we're gonna go right through mm -hmm. the mirror. Is Giger passed? Yes. Yes. Like how long some, ago? Some years, some years ago, like ten. That's a. It's been some time. Broad guess. I'm out Broad of the mirror, season. Alex. All right. Might have been longer. Let's do. Let's see. Get out of your house. You got it. I mean, you can oh. go to the garage, I guess, if you want, but uh, otherwise, that's not the next step, so. Yeah, it was 2014 that he passed. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, from here. I'm going to go to the garage. I'm going to hit the radio. Wow, it looks just like that alien. Movie. You are going to have to do some grave robbing at some point, so... All right, so we're going to go to the left? Eventually, yeah. All right, I don't think they'll let me back in that uh, garage right. there. Not that way. Yeah, not that way. So I'm just going to go. Uh, the grave you are looking for is the John McKeegan grave. All right, the plaque. Inside the clock. You are going to do grave robbing. Yes, finally. All right. This really stresses me out, this escalating MIDI. No name on that. I Jesus, calm down, MIDI. G3 I'll get you your money. <laughs> Composer of this game committed a crime against humanity. <laughs> I think it's the one on the far right there. That's John Campbell. No, okay. Is it the one with no name? Oh, wait, maybe it's in the other... Maybe it's in, in front of the mausoleum. All right, hang on. Walk left twice to the cemetery, then go through the gates and pass the screen with pass the screen with the total mausoleum. Oh, geez, okay. I listen to the soundtrack of this game, like, every day. It's, like, kind of, you know... It's, like, a couple of good soundtracks I listen to. Mm -hmm. How's your blood pressure? <laughs> It's not great. It's not yeah. Great. <laughs> they thought it was a. They thought it was you know the food I was eating, but really. Our <laughs> Leibowitz, a can Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep going. Some real quality work in this. 
I don't know what the joke here is who Molly Santini yeah, is. I don't know that reference. It's my ex-wife. <laughs> it's my... Ah, here we go. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? You dig up the casket and find some diary pages inside. Yeah, you know, look at that casket you dug out. It's right there. It's right there. You don't see it? Okay, uh, something in the mirror. I use it to enter into the dark world, and I suspect my fate is tied to the strange creatures I have seen hibernating there. I have excavated a bit and brought back something. In the process, I managed to crack the edge of the mirror, which I had thought was unbreakable. The thing I brought back might be able to break it if made into a tool. I will have this final page left in my grave, though I doubt my fate is to remain there for long. Oh, one final word. My enemies have underestimated how strongly events in this world affect things in the other. I have kept them from returning to space by letting my car fall apart. <laughs> I even hid the keys in a special place. I also feel that the police station is strongly mirrored in the dark world. Use this information wisely. You might succeed where I am surely about. Okay, look. <laughs> I... It's the next thing I'm gonna use whenever somebody says my basement looks like a fucking mess. Be like, oh, I know. I'm keeping them from returning to yeah. space. Yeah. 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 No. I have a job, okay? <laughs> I have a duty. I have a duty. If I you think I'm doing this away, for fun? <laughs> God. For <laughs> goofs? For shits and giggles? <gasps> your Prius looks like a piece of shit. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Saving your goddamn life. All right, we gotta go to the police station. Where to now? Fucking pieces of shit, man. Just don't get it. Fucking telling me my business. I have to get out of the cemetery. Oh god. All right. Yeah. All right. That's much more <laughs> tolerable. Uh. Where? All right. Uh. Leave the cemetery and return to your house, where you will be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I normally wouldn't have spoiled that, okay. but the way this is phrased was too good. I could not set not say it. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. Fucking we don't space alien cops. We don't I'm take too kindly to house flippers fine. around these parts. <laughs> I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. What did I do wrong? Well, you did just dig up a grave, Mr. Dawson, and... Around these parts, that's not only legal in the eyes of the Lord, but in uh, about yeah. three statutes. Uh, Helvetica scenario in the in the Twitch chat asking a very good question. Guys, what led to you playing this one? Oh, uh, I was looking up. I was like, man, we haven't played an FMV game in a while. And then I was looking up some stuff, and I saw Dark Seed 2, which kind of is maybe FMV adjacent. It's not FMV really, but it's, you know, it's got like that vibe to it. It's got a guy. It's got a guy, and they, they seem like they digitize people, and then I saw Dark Seed 1, and that's pretty much what got me there. All right, put your items you under the spirits. pillow. What? Put your items under the pillow, your money, your uh, your gloves, uh, and your bobby pin under your pillow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say first, but sure. Do you want oh, my help or not? I'm <laughs> pointing out that the jail... Possibly has the most soothing music in the game so far. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, look at this. We even got a prompt for an overwrite. Wow. Well, why would you put your stuff under the pillow? Old grungy pillow. Can I try and not use the pillow first? I, I really I don't not... need to take the pillow. I have enough of them at home. You're in jail, man. You're not taking the pillow. You're putting under the pillow. Why would I ever? Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just trying to understand the logic here. So, sorry, what do I need to put under there exactly? Because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, you need to put your gloves, the bobby pin, and your money. Okay. Bobby pin, it's right there. You can see it. Yeah, I was going to try and let's see if I can just break out first. Maybe I just got arrested. Okay. All right. I'm going to put it under my pillow. I don't know about nothing. I've done it. Now use the tin cup to, to hit the bars. There you go. Attica. 
Uh, some sound Attica, logic. Attica. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now what? Talk to this guy? Yeah. The town police. Of course that worked. Uh. Do I do it again? Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, give Delbert's card to the officer. Oh, the lawyer. get out of jail free. A friend of Dilbert, huh? Come with me, Dawson. Man, they really hate my guts. This is the inside of a police station. <laughs> Take the gun from the wall. What? Okay. <laughs> Got it. Take the gun from the wall. <laughs> That's I'm here to tell gun. you what you need to do, and you need to take that gun from that wall. All right, I've got the gun. Nothing just... weird can come of this. Every police station's got a gun by the desk, right? With nobody, I'm holding the gun. Leave the police station, go home. I don't have any bullets. I don't have any bullets, Alex. Does not matter. At least there aren't any pictures of anyone I know here. She is judgy. There's a map of the city. Can I take it? I can't pry it loose. Besides, it's too big to lug around. Okay. Anything in the Go lost found? Uh, okay. All right, fine. You sure you don't want me to rob anything else from the police yes, station? Yes, go home. Just take the go gun. Go home and go to your backyard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take the gun from the police station. God. When Delbert arrives, yeah. save. Okay. When I arrive at my house. Because this is a time sequence that's coming up after it. All right. Delbert. Go to the backyard? Yeah, go to your backyard. What time is it? It's 5.11 p.m. He's coming at 6. You could probably walk into the, the garage briefly. Where's the radio here? I don't know where the radio is. Oh, the is car the radio. Car? Probably. Uh, it's not letting me interact with him. All right, let's go back in your backyard. Oh, 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 shit. I don't want to miss Delbert. Well, he won't come until six. Oh, yeah, it's 523. We'll just hang out in here. Just. I mean, can you change the station or anything? I'll try yeah. this other dial. Okay, it has two settings. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I think just go hang out in your backyard. <laughs> What you doing, Mike? Hang on the old car, Delbert. <laughs> Found his gun in the police station. All right, I'm going out. I'm going to save it first in case I really mess this up and miss something because we're pretty deep in. So I'm going to save it now and I'll save it again when Delbert comes. Save. There's save B. You have a rope in your inventory, Mike? I choice? sure do. No, okay, I used it on the thing. Remember? Oh, I, okay. I can yeah. get up. Yeah. Right. Yes. Let's just uh, let's oh, take some time to study our our fine hero here. Get him as close yeah. to the okay. camera as possible. <laughs> let's really study this this figure, this form, this man, this beast. What is, what is that eyeball? It's part of the staging thing that is around everything. You see the scotch. You're going to want to give that scotch to Delbert. To be working. Oh, shit. Gotta wind the watch again. Uh, wind it, man. How do you wind it? Uh... 
I broke the watch. Great job. Uh-huh. Oh, I wound it. Okay. Oh, it's 5.59. Here he is. Save it. Yeah. Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. Follow him. Follow him or save it? We'll save it, then follow him. Okay. All right, here we go. Give him the scotch once you follow him. Okay. Don't shoot him. And there's a thing coming up here that basically seems like it's the most obnoxious puzzle in the game, so I'm just going to tell you. Okay, wait, don't tell me yet. No, I will, but, okay. like, not yeah, yet. at the time. Yeah, go follow him. This must be the neighbor's yard. Oh. Give him the scotch. Okay. <laughs> that the cat? I, I gave him the scotch. Did you give it to him? I did. Yep, there we go. Damn, damn, man. He's just going to fucking yeah. town. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, huh. <laughs> Apparently. Hi, <laughs> Mike. All right, what do I got to do next? Is it time? Get the stick. All Get right. the stick. Pick up the stick. Pick up the stick. Pick up the stick. I picked up the stick. Now what? All right, now go back into your backyard. <laughs> damn, and then go that's... around the front and inside. Damn, that's smooth. <laughs> I just chucked a bottle yeah. of scotch. There was there was a TikTok going around recently of a dude actually doing basically that. Oh. It did not turn out well. Oh. It turned out very poorly. Oh. All right, you're going back to the dark world. So okay. go back through the mirror. With my stick. With you, Now that you have the stick, which is the ultimate power against these aliens. <laughs> Delbert's stick. Yeah, no, if you I, don't no. get the stick, apparently you lose the game straight up. No other way so, I could have ever gotten a stick. Okay, so yeah, somebody, I think it was Vinny Bushes in chat, warned me earlier, this, this game straight up has a King's Quest custard pie thing. I guess you stick is it. Yeah, it right. is. an item, you just straight up are stuck and can't finish the game. What do I do when I'm inside this mirror? Uh, Alright, yeah. head through the right, the closest doorway to the lobby. That's what they're calling it. Uh-huh. Yes. And then out through the round doorway. Got it. And then walk right twice. Oh, apparently there's two of those. In this game? Yeah, but you're, you're good on both, so... Okay. This alien park was oh, obviously geez. engineered by creatures with a bizarre and alien cool park? sense of humor. Come on, no. come on! Keep going. Just a weird Swiss guy. <laughs> I'm continuing. Oh! Oh, that's cool. We're just... Oh, Bottomless no. abyss. Uh, let's see here. Throw the stick to the right of the beast. I didn't do that. Okay. Uh -oh. Can't even look at him. Okay. Go get it. Who wouldn't think to do that? <laughs> Video games. <laughs> this is why we love them. All right. Go Enter inside. the first building and the ad past this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In here. The main lobby of an alien jail. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Alien jail. Bro. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Whoa. Uh, now you're going to alien jail. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. Oh, my stuff from the. Oh, it's, it's under, the, under pillow. the pillow. Now. Wow. Bet you're pretty glad I told you to do that, huh? I really, I really am. Because who the fuck would ever have realized that's what's gonna happen? So would you just be stuck in here or is the game over? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I touched the bars. They're very cold. You will, you Pick will the lock. If you don't get out soon. At least I got You need to do it in. twice, apparently. You attempt to pick the primitive lock, nothing happens. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yay! What? 
Yeah, this, this, is a, this is not a that's not that's not cool. That's not good puzzle is, design. No, this is like cumulatively some of the worst, this, some of the most rotten adventure game design. I've seen. <laughs> Give the bobby pin to that guy. I am gonna go save it first and go high five this guy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like literally do thing. It doesn't work, and then do it again, and it works. Like what? Yeah. No, this is not good game design. I will freely admit that. He's going to give you something. I am Sargo. Sargo? I am prepared to do the gift of invisibility. All right, cool. Sure. <laughs> Why didn't you just use the invisibility when they were, like, opening the door to give you food and then just leave? Does he do it again? No, okay. You I'm take so the gift of invisibility, it's a headband. <laughs> Here, take this bobby pin. You'll know what to do with it. I'd, I'd take that trade. An invisibility headband, which he wore. Which only works once, so don't just one. throw it on there. <laughs> this game okay. is the most, like, is this, used it. <laughs> is this real or is he just, like, way drunk? I was in the jail, and this guy Sargo gave me an invisibility headband. I have to take off go all down, my clothes. Go down the long hall hallway, then leave uh -huh. the police station. I don't have to use my headband. Not yet. Okay. No, you have to get past a guard outside a library instead. Okay, I'm going outside? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're naked. Go right twice. You got it. I'm invisible. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh's Guards Recruitment Center. Oh, oh. Not so just cool. pretend you don't know that. Not clugs. Hey, bud! That's, I think, the guy you have to invisible past to get right. into this alien Ooh. library. Well, we gotta find out what happens if you don't, right? At yeah, least, absolutely. At, at least this. When I do save E, am I running out of spots? It seemed like I was filling them up. Don't mind me, just here for the library. You've well, been knocked fleshy stalk. by the fleshy stalk. Got another one, put it under glass. <laughs> All right. Great job. Thanks. Wow, it really does just start the game over, doesn't it? You just died. Imagine if you hadn't saved. Okay. I'm hopefully there we go. Let's get what happened to video games? They used to be so good. That sure was some nightmare. <laughs> it even left me with a monster headache. Maybe it's a loop. Maybe it's not starting from the beginning. Maybe this is the, you know, he had that nightmare. Um, save. Davey. All right. Uh, what am I doing? I'm the visibility headband. Yeah. You know, that thing they gave you. Oh, look at me. I'm invisible. That's definitely invisible. I'm invi you, you can't can see even that. see me. You're in the great archive chamber. Many of the ancient secrets. Use the console when you get a chance, and then talk to the figure on the screen to get a microfiche card on this fucking alien planet. <laughs> I turned. They oh, have microfiche. Me. I mean, where would you store? Where would you store the secrets of the I ancients? Can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Jesus, Mike. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. This Lady, are you fucking high? A word? Destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancient power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancients. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry and good luck. What do you think this game retailed for? <laughs> There's definitely some good tinfoil hat shit. I don't know. Can I just upload all this to whatever site on the internet wants to turn this into the next thing? Hey, dog, oh. the fucking aliens are cops, and the cops are aliens. Good luck. You got an embryo could in you your ask, brain, bro. Could you go ask Tracy in accounting if she could read these two paragraphs on this microphone? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> All right, what do I do next? I've got the microfiche. You see the microfiche. Do I leave this room? Uh, hang on. <laughs> uh, yeah, get the microfiche card, leave the library, and retur let return left five times. Enter the dark world house. Okay. And back through the mirror. Back to the mirror. Got it. This headband's working all right, though. And then you're going home and going to sleep. Okay. <laughs> what they don't want to tell you is you all have embryos in your brain. Mm hmm. Oh, looks like I got some documents here. Prove <laughs> that aliens have been putting embryos inside oh, our brains geez. again. Oh, no. Oh, what? In the world? Oh, my God. I am I out of time? I don't. Somebody in chat earlier said the like global time limit is three hours, so there's no way. Hey, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. You were just supposed to go left five times and then get the fuck out of there. He got too sleepy. Uh, you know, one piece of text explaining why you just died would have been nice. What the hell? Uh, reload your last save and maybe check what time it is. Okay. If the time even, does time even work in this dimension? So how far back would we have to go? Uh, maybe oh, I can go was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. I've got a bunch of saves. All right. I mean, we don't have a ton of time left for today anyway, but. Oh, yeah, are we near the end? It is another day. Oh my God. I need to know what happens. So I wonder if you really, really just the time just ran out on you. I don't have the watch. Oh, oh this this is the headband thing. Maybe just Maybe do just this as quick as humanly map. possible. Yeah, I'm just gonna go fast. No more fucking around. <laughs> this man just falls asleep at ten o'clock every day, no matter what. <laughs> Many of the ancient no matter where he is, what he's doing. Here for those who know how to access them. I can't reach the screen. Oh, just use it. Besides. It's not a touch screen. The oh, last last gunslinger points out if you roll back to that stick save, that was a six p.m. Okay. Greetings, that might be I enough time. I can't skip. The, radio. the ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, what's the deal? Do you just need to be back in bed by ten? You just have to be out of the dark world, or just out of here. Also, yeah, I assume if you're back in your world, he would just do the thing where he's like, I'm tired, I need to go to bed. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck. I'm gonna hurry. Oh, I gotta get five screens in two minutes. No more messing around. Go. Gotta go, it's Betty Bye time. <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep on the floor. Come on. Don't stop for nothing. Come on. Go, 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 go. Just got to get through the mirror, right? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Don't fall in the abyss. Come on, Mike. Run, bud. You got this, dude. You got this. You can do it. Go, 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 go. I feel like I should save it again. Go, go, go. What good is it going to do you? No! Oh, go, 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 go. I think you got it. Come on. Not yet. Come on. Dude, Walk hustle. faster, you piece of fucking yes. shit. You fucking scumbag. <laughs> go, go, Get go, the go, fuck go. through that mirror. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, check the time as soon as you get out of here. Oh. oh. I need to know. How close we were? Yeah. You think he has his stuff back? Oh, I don't know. I don't have my stuff. No, oh, I can not. check this clock. Yep, do it. Because here he'll just go to sleep. Like he'll just go up to his bedroom. Nine thirty-eight. Oh, okay. So we were. Uh, look, we, yeah, we All just right. dilly dallied a little too long last time. We had twenty-two seconds to just do whatever we wanted. Yeah, go to sleep. Don't be in the dark world. So this is the last day coming up? Yes. Uh, 
Wait, this isn't the bedroom. Is this, this way? That's the other bedroom. It's the other bedroom. Okay. The good bed. Mm-hmm. It's like a Giger bong or something in this corner, which is, I respect. Kind of cool. Oh! Hmm. Another dream? Alien music box? No, this is real. Boy. It's just like when you saw Laura Palmer's face in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. All right. Let's do this, Alex. I love it. I love it. Should I save it again? I should probably save it again. Yeah, if you want. Oh, yeah. Now that we know, final day. Not a ton of steps left on this one, but it might be it might be another like ten or fifteen minutes before we're done here. All right, let's cruise. Let's cruise. It might be okay. Okay, you guys feel free to finish it. I I have a family what? obligation to attend to, but you You're guys feel me, free to. <laughs> you don't mind if we finish this game? Oh, I mean, uh, you can like always go I back said, and look I at the archive. Heard, <laughs> like I said, I got a hint of what happens at the end of this, and I extremely want to see that. All right, I'm gonna go as quickly as I can. Bathroom, shower, pills, right? Yes, uh, it, it's fine. I'll I'll just I'll just bail if I have to, and you guys okay. can keep going. Okay. I'll check the archive because I need to see that animation. Well, hopefully we'll get the good ending, right? Is you talking about the good one or the bad one? It sounds like you've done everything that you needed to do. Okay. Although it also sounds like this game has a lot of missable stuff. All right, Alex, what's next? I've pilled and I've I've showered. Uh, go to town. Walk right four times and enter the library. Go to the library. Got it. And then go through the right doorway, which will take you to the microfiche reader, which apparently works the same way as the alien one. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 buddy. This playing's creak a lot, creak a lot. It sounds like someone is like running a card shuffler whenever you walk over those steps. I have to say, as dumb, and I'm glad we're using the guide for this, this would be, oh, this would be fucking impossible, would be impossible without it. It would be excruciating without a guide. But I love these types of games. Like, just, no, we know. Oh, sure. We know. Just pure. So do I. Yeah. This, I this do too, but I mean, is... sometimes the bad ones are really bad, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I miss stuff. If I were playing this for real, let's say if I had you to playing it for real, if I had to review this game pre-release, this game is not going to do well. They they would probably in in a modern era would give you a reviewer's guide with a walkthrough. All right, library microfiche. Tiger Cash is right. We should play some Sierra games at some point. Oh, we played Gabriel Wind. Right? We did. We did. Two of them. We should, we've seen some King's Quest, uh, too, I, right? Uh, did we play any King's Yeah, I remember the Owl. Or... Right, I, yes, I loaded Yes, I had to show you Cedric. This dark room <sighs> like it is seldom used. Microsoft Computer Gaming about... World called Dark mm -hmm. Seed the most integrated and effective feel for a horror adventure oh, yet. Mm -hmm. Wow. But criticize the unforgiving real-time gameplay that <laughs> often caused unwinnable situations. Uh huh. But the graphics and sound, they are really the star of the show here. Uh, home security. Many readers have sent ideas regarding storage of valuables in the home. One of these ideas involves hollowing out the area beneath a flagstone in your cellar and concealing objects such as jewelry and even cash. This is an ingenious idea, definitely worth looking into. Ryan Ketchum. That's the microfiche, is an article from Better Homes and Cellars. Got it. Huh? Got it. So now, the secrets of the ancients. Go back to my house and go find... No. Okay. Turn off the machine, leave the library, then go to clubs. If you don't turn off the machine, do you, do you lose? Look, man, I don't know. <laughs> We're All not right? I it. don't know. Just gotta do this by Just the go book. to clubs. Go to clubs.
Equal 77, pretty good idea for a stream series of old point and click games. I have a mouse and I must stream. <laughs> sure, we did that. Uh, I have no math and must scream game. Oh. It was Maybe not I good. Call for an appointment Wait, first. oh, that's the barber. You never went to the barbers, really, did no, we? No, no, I should call for an appointment. All right, close. Think about, think about checking out the Quest for Glory games a lot, because I never got okay. to play those back in the day. Buy another bottle of scotch. Jesus Christ, Alex. <laughs> Do you want to win this game or not? <laughs> hey, now, I'm not one to judge, but did you give Dermont a whole bottle of scotch? Because you know he's a recovering alcoholic, right? And, uh, okay, you just take your Woke up in the town square and his fucking nothing but his boxers. <laughs> just, that doesn't seem very responsible. Anyway, have a good day, Michael. Not a very good neighbor, are you? <laughs> You're kind of an asshole. Bye. All right, where to now? Uh, go to your house. And there should be either a package on your front door, or if it's uh, not early enough, then or not the right time, then it will eventually show up. So just wait in front of your house. God, it's like Shenmue. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you have to go inside, and the doorbell will ring. But yeah. God help me. People in the Twitch chat are now quoting lyrics from "Girl in the Tower" from King's Quest VI. <laughs> Can't read this anymore. <laughs> Is it 10 a.m. yet? Uh, I don't have my watch anymore. The space cops took it. I'll go check the... Should have hid your watch, too, I guess. I guess so. Guy didn't say anything about that. It's 1018. Okay, so there should be a package out front of your house. All right, let me go take a look. Ooh. I mean, we burned through pretty quickly. I can't imagine doing that much faster. Yeah. Do you like a game that makes you shower every morning? It's just good. To, yeah, it's just good to do. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, there it is. I see oh, it. Thank goodness. All right. I picked up the package. You pick up the package. All right. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a stick. It's a stick. It's, it's a, a stick. handle. Oh. Okay. I've got it. Axe handle. Going to the kitchen. Of course. Why wouldn't and I? Down into the cellar. Yep. Who's sending me stuff? I don't know. Amazon? <laughs> it's one of those scams. I can yeah. an, an axe handle. Oh, wait. This isn't the right way. No. Downstairs. Yep. Put the handle in the slot. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. Wine bottles. Previous owner must have had some reason to drink. <laughs> uh huh. Judge As if we need one. Uh huh. Uh, all, right. all right. Let's see here. And then living room in the kitchen, so in the cellar. Pick up the rectangular flagstone in the middle of the floor. And look Jeez, in the hole. Jeez, this thing? Yeah. Wow. Really? Look this in the key. hole. Set of keys. Great. Okay. Uh, go through the mirror. Under the rock <laughs> with a set of keys. Okay, I've got the keys. Go through the mirror? Yep. Have you even been in this room? Is this the first time you've even first been in this room? First time I was here? Yes. All right. Okay, mirror time. Mm hmm. To the dark world. Of course. Then where? Uh, head through the right doorway to the lobby like last time and out through the round doorway. Okay. Back to the left cave. Twice. So left. Yeah, yeah left okay. outside of the house. I've also okay. got this guy. I don't know. House. Okay. <laughs> so right doorway, right doorway, out And the then through the door. round doorway. Yeah. And then left twice? And then left twice. I don't know how the fuck anybody would ever finish this game. <laughs> like reading the steps that are to come. <laughs> okay, left once. 
I when I looked up this game, it said it was impenetrable. So that's why yeah. I heard you guys. All right, in the cave. They were right. Yeah. yeah. You ever, you ever feel like it's everyone who was making games in this era was just out of their minds? A little bit. Yes. One hundred percent. Go through this door. Go through the next door and then find the power supply room. <laughs> Smells like a hospital waiting room here. Oh jeez. Okay. Is that what this is? Just keep going. Uh, hang on. Use the flagstone with the power nexus in the left wall to energize it. What? <laughs> you know. Pull that one loose stone I'm out of the cellar floor and then go into the alien world and put it in the power nexus. Who wouldn't think of that? Of course, it's a... It's... The alien's power source appears yep, to be that's a... in this chamber. Wow, there's a weird it's square power thing. Brain. Looks like an organic computer. This is just contra. To the ancients. I mean, Mike kind of knows a lot. Okay. He does have something in his brain, probably. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. Okay. Kind of want to put my penis in it. <laughs> All right, I've got an energized stone, Alex. Or your handle. Great. Use it with the handle. Oh, wait, use this with the stone? Yeah. Yeah, yes. handle the stone. It's a glowing hammer now. Now you have, Great, a you have an energy hammer. hammer. Now what? <laughs> Use the hammer in the power uh, nexus. You got it. What is the power nexus? Wait, did, did that mean you need to put the hammer back in that nexus, back in that energy source? Maybe. It's, it's already glowing. Yeah, I think that's... Eh, this. Try it anyway. This says use, use the hammer in the power nexus. Is this the power nexus? I, I Probably. The flagstone absorbs the alien energy. It's hardening the turn. Unimaginably dense material. Okay. Imagine if we hadn't done that. I yeah. Let's just see a hammer. Now what? Walk all the way back through the cave, through to the dark world house, and through the mirror. What the fuck? Really? Yep. Yes. Came back to the house. Game design. Oh my god. Am I gonna shatter the mirror? <gasps> I'm gonna shatter Maybe. the mirror. Listen. Yeah. Maybe. If you can design a better adventure game, I'd like to see you do it. Why? And then I have we the should keys. Make an adventure game. And then, but I have the keys to the car now, right? Probably. Okay. Yeah, that's how the game ends with you just tearing ass out of here. <laughs> Didn't he say I got Fuck keep, this town! I've got to keep the car in bad shape so they can't escape? Okay. Okay, once through the mirror, you're going to go back to your bedroom. Uh-huh, okay. You say so? And then answer your telephone. <laughs> We should try and get the people who wrote this if they're still alive and interview them. <laughs> For him. <laughs> All right. Back to my room? Yeah. yeah. Oh, phone's ringing. So we're, go we're oh, going to have to play Dark Seed 2 at some point, right? That's the whole point of playing this one. Yeah. We wouldn't yeah, know what was yeah, going on otherwise. Now we've absorbed the rich backstory of the Dark Seed franchise. <laughs> it's the same too. character too, right? It's Mike. Yes. And I'm answering yes. the phone. Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real. Go break the mirror. Thanks, you Oracle. Go, you have to go down the rope now, apparently. You got it. Left door. Oh. Ah, yes, this Wait. is the developer of oh. I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. It is? Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what people were suggesting earlier. Wow. Why do you have to go down the rope and not out the front door? I don't know. I assume you would die some horrible death, but it, seeing as it takes um, way too long to reload this game, I'm just going down this way. All right, when you enter the garage, save. Okay. Yeah, apparently there's something very time-limited coming up. Okay. When the I higher res. The there is a higher res version of this guy in Dark Seed Two. Yes, that's I'm what I'm seeing saying. it in Discord. It's a little more FMV, oh, yeah. but not quite FMV. All right, save. Don Mattingly looking ass. <laughs> Pour the scotch into the car's gas tank. Yeah, fuck this car up. They ain't leaving. Okay.
Again, who wouldn't think to just pour the scotch into the gas tank? Now turn the car on? Yes. Into the car and use the keys to start it, get back out of the car, and then leave the garage. What did we do? The motor starts. Now get okay. out. <laughs> okay. Now go back so up the road. <laughs> okay. The rope. I don't, can I go up the rope? He doesn't want to go it up the rope. It says you can. Uh, oh, wait. I have to use the rope. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a little scurry animation. That's really good. All right. Back so up the rope. In the room, back, down the ladder. Back through the, back through the mirror. Back yeah, to go the back mirror? To, back to the mirror. Yep. Oh, good lord. Okay. Listen, do you want to win or not? I want to win. Do you want to win video games? All right. Want to say you finished a video game? <laughs> I do. I want to finish a video game. Go! Oh my God, my go! Okay. I think the developers just thought it was really funny that it sounds like it farts every time. Probably. You know, they probably have some really nice high res fart or creak sounds. All right, in the mirror. Then what? Into the mirror. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. Uh, out of the lobby. As before. So outside. Same, yes, through the round outside. doorway, go outside. And then you're going to go through the smaller doorways just to the left into a spaceship. You got it. I fueled up the spaceship by fueling up my car. Now I'm going to oh, go through here. Is that what here. that was? Yeah, they're tied together, remember? Right. Okay. We know there was a spaceship here, though. Now to the right. Oh. Small door. The garage. Yeah, the garage of this house. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You use your gloves. Oh, looks like a control center. Okay. On, on this the lever. large lever. Got it. No study. Oh, oh there's a lever. You Why the gloves? The main Otherwise, you get electrocuted. Oh, sure. Okay, now what? Get out. Get out. Quickly get out of the spaceship. Get out. It says. They beat it? Oh, I like where this is going. Return to your house. Oh, geez. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. That's like the beginning of the game. It might, it might send you back on its own. Yeah, he's going on its own. It's a man with a mission. You have one last thing to do. Break the mirror. Yeah. You guessed it. Am I going to break it? Probably. Oh, come on. Get. Oh, okay. boy. Can't get through these mirrors like I used to. All right. <sighs> All right. I'm going to break the mirror. This madness must end. I grew up Thar's hammer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that should prevent a sequel from happening. Hit the ah. clock. Ah. Librarian? I'm not really sure <laughs> why ah. I'm here. <laughs> But I just felt drawn to you. Hey, giggity, strange, giggity. <laughs> the romantic tension is just <laughs> leaping <laughs> off the screen. Beat it's the game. Here's the pretty lady. In your name <laughs> for relief of severe headaches. What? Oh! Ma'am. It's a prescription I'm filled in your name for relief of uh -huh. I'm just beginning to understand. <laughs> Did you score the alien lady? Is that, is that what happens at the end of this game? You're still out I there. really have no answers. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Wait, do I hit a button? No. Space bar? I've hit the button and space bar. Listen, you're going to hear this keyboard solo. They farted out. All right. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I think this- You win! Wait, wait, hang on. Did it start over? I think it started over. Wait. It can't have been the entire ending. Sure it can. That's it. What? 
Are you serious? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. You did it. The pretty lady oh came my. in and made weird okay. face movements at you, and that's the ending. The description I read earlier must have been a bad ending or something, or maybe it's just that a sure death. But apparently, there, apparently, there's a way for the it embryo in your head to hatch. Oh, oh, that yeah, that's a bad ending. I wonder if you uh, just don't do anything. I think would have been better than the ending oh we just God. got, which was kind of nothing. Um, uh, well? Okay, forgive me. I'd have to run, take care of some family stuff. It's okay, we're going to wrap up. But yeah, in, we're done here. Enjoy, enjoy wrapping up. Thank you. Alex, I'm going to get outside of this house. That's going to do it here. We did it. We beat we a video it. game in one day. We said we were going to, and we did it. That's dark. That's dark seed one. Here, I can turn this feels like it's going to explode. I was just gonna let him just have his head explode. Love that Joker. Um, Brad, <laughs> Brad really uh, enjoyed it. Thank you, He's Brad. been using brand X. X. I wonder if you don't um, if you don't do anything, does your head just explode? Let's just, let's assume we should come and check out Dark Seed two at some point. Yeah, definitely. For sure. We still uh, need to go to Gabriel Knight three at some point too. Also, and Gabriel Knight three. Um, I wonder how many how many ways to die in Dark Seed. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us. If you're uh, tuning into the Watchcast, we've got um, Beavis and Butthead next week. Beavis and Butthead do America, kicking off mm -hmm. our TV movies, but in the universe of the TV show. Yes, yes. stuff that takes place at least according to them in the canon of the show. Uh, and that is uh, that schedule is up now. You can check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and up this week, we have, what was it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up this yes. week. So you can check that out. Uh, yesterday, we had Warframe, <laughs> where I played a bunch of Warframe, and I actually really enjoyed it. You can check that out as well, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff. We had Jana Choa on the Ramblecast. So go check that out uh, over at patreon.com slash nextlander. Thanks for supporting us. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. And we'll be back next week. See you, everybody.